Hey everyone, Tyler here with Gilded Reviews. I am really excited about this game. Today we are taking an early access first look at Ultimate Fishing Simulator, developed by BitGolem and Ultimate Games. Now this game just entered early access and we did encounter some bugs, but overall they were very minimal. At this time the game is offering four fisheries, over a dozen fish, an experience system, and a well-stocked store. There are some issues here I will get more into later, but since this is so early in the development cycle, I would expect these issues to get worked out. A major disappointment is the lack of control binding options. This undoubtedly will get fixed soon. Also the multiplayer is not quite ready yet, right now all they have in place are the chat and leaderboard systems. The developer says it will release a full multiplayer experience with time. I'm not sure what this means, but on their Kickstarter page they outline full 3D models and animations, so it sounds awesome. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what comes of all this. I bought it for the multiplayer. In fact, I actually got a friend to grab it before we realized the multiplayer wasn't established. The reason I bring this up is because even without multiplayer, we both have put a lot of hours into this game. He is rounding out with 45 and he is still logging in trying to compete on the leaderboards. I have managed to put in 13 hours and I still want to hop on and play. For 20 bucks that is not bad and the way the game is set up allows you to watch TV or do other things while you play. Starting off you notice right away this game is gorgeous and they have done a lot to make sure the environment looks and sounds real. There is a little work that needs to be done with the fish animations, especially when they first latch on, but the overall look and feel of the game is well done. Ultimate Games has really been listening to the community, adjusting and altering things based on what people are suggesting. Since release they have had patches pretty much every day, I mean it, if not even twice a day. Let's go over some of the mechanics and talk about how the game operates. When you first load in you have access to a float setup that will get you started fishing for trout. The menu for setting up your rig is pretty straightforward and with a little exploration it is easy to use. They have a ton of setups available including spinners, wobblers, and soft baits. However float fishing really seems to be what the game is focusing on at least right now. The fisheries do have fish that are attracted more to these other lures, but overall a couple flies, worms, or leeches will get the job done faster with less complications. I am sure this will all get worked out as we move forward. I am really looking forward to using spinners in lieu of bait. Float fishing is fun and all, but it can get a little boring after a while. I guess I really just like the options. If I want to watch TV while I play, then awesome, float fishing is great. But if I want to try and catch the biggest fish, then I want the game to force me to use a spinner with a specific technique. The actual fishing mechanics work well enough. You have the ability to adjust the drag and reel speed. You can let out lines, strike with a button, and unlock the drag so you can hear the line being pulled out if you are float fishing. All these tools work in tandem, wearing down the fish until he is tired enough to bring in. The game seems to have a pretty decent equipment system in place as well. Larger fish are harder to bring in and upgrading your gear will make it significantly easier. This really gives a feeling of progression that is needed to keep people playing. As you catch fish you get experience. The experience will increase your level to allow you to buy gear that is more durable, making bringing in the same fish easier or allowing you to take on a new challenge. This all still needs a little balance. You can grind most of the fish simply by upgrading your fishing line. However, later in the game, more durable gear is essential to bring in the bigger fish. There is a weird mechanic I want to talk about here and after discussing it with friends, we are not entirely sure how we feel about it, but we do think it should be changed. The more you catch the same fish, the bigger they seem to get. If you open up your encyclopedia, there is an experience bar for each fish. The more you catch that fish, the better you get at catching them. This is all fine and in actuality it is a great mechanic. But at a certain point, around 50 or so of the same fish caught, you will start to catch trophy sized versions of these fish, competing with people that have fished every spot in the game for hours. I don't know, maybe it is just us, but being able to spam one spot until you get trophy fish seems unbalanced. Personally I feel trophy fish should be rare, really rare, and only accessible to people who have completed most of the game. I don't know, I'm sure there will be changes coming to this as well. 
The maps in this game are fully fishable and you can run up anywhere on shore and cast, which is really nice. I like being able to do that, pick my own spot, go out there and fish. You can also hop in a boat and drive around the lake. On the last map, they even offer you a sea fishing experience, but unfortunately it does not differ much from regular lake fishing. The developer has also said they are going to be bringing ice and fly fishing mechanics into the game. I am really excited for both of these. I love ice and fly fishing in real life and I have never experienced that in a video game before. The float system seems to work well enough to get the ice fishing implemented soon, so hopefully we get some news about that in the near future. Deep sea fishing is something I hope they continue to build on as well. Right now they are planning more fish, but I really hope they bring in some type of trolling system, where I can drive the boat and switch to an already cast rod when I get a bite. Or maybe the boat can auto drive. I don't know, something here would be awesome if they found a way to implement it. I can only imagine how much fun I would have with three buddies on a boat trolling the ocean for Marlin. The last thing I wanna talk about in this quick little first look is the fish's artificial intelligence. Before I get into this, I wanna say this is another thing the developers are constantly working on. With that being said, the AI needs a lot of work. The fish are pretty easy to trick and some of the bait setups don't quite make sense. I mean, I know most fish eat worms, but many prefer for other things more. I could be wrong here, I have only caught a few sturgeon in my life and never on purpose, but in this game I am catching sturgeon with a rig setup that is only two feet from the surface of the water. I thought sturgeon were bottom feeders. I don't know, maybe there is a difference between the sturgeon from where I am from and the sturgeon at Bakayo Lake. This isn't the only fish I felt needed some adjusting, but just the most obvious one. The other fish maintain the normal rig setups you would use in real life. However, I would like to see more action from the bass with a spinner though. And really guys, that is about it. This game is fantastic for anyone looking for an escape. Ultimate Fishing Simulator can really take you away and bringing in a fish is an exciting experience that is only getting better every day. They just recently added vibration support to controllers, which brings another level of immersion that is necessary for this genre. If you guys are like me and have been looking for a decent fishing game without a pay to win model, you guys should check this one out. It really does pass the time and watching TV while you're playing it is very enjoyable. Just make sure you have the sound turned up so you can hear your line. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up or click on the icon to subscribe. And if you haven't yet, check out some of our other content. We release new videos every few days.